Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is Scott. I'm going to show you how to build a uh, hatchet throwing target. And we're going to start from the beginning. Uh, with the exception of the cuts, I'm going to already have some of the cuts done just to speed along the video. However, I will uh, show you as I'm going through to lay it out and uh, also where to put the bolts, etc. We're also going to make a frame for this so you can actually stand it up anywhere in the yard or make it mobile. Uh, you can also put wheels on it if you want to. That's your call. Uh, but I'll let you guys decide that. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, hit thumbs up. And following this, I'll probably have a separate video on how to uh, do the target as well and the measurement. So uh, let's get after it and hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, we're going to start out with uh, the 2x8s. And we're going to put them, uh, lay them down. Cut these in 4 foot increments so they're... Uh, two by eights cut into four foot long. And you're just going to lay them out. This one here, I believe, is cut by three feet. So, it's lined up pretty good across the top. Okay? And that measurement there is going to give you a rough estimate of your board. A little over three feet. And top to bottom, about 55, uh, 55 inches. So. Um, not too bad there as far as the board. Then what I did is I cut a piece of plywood. I'm going to drop that plywood right on the back. Just like so. We're going to line that up. We're going to shoot screws. Two screws for each board is what we're going to do. And that's going to set our, um, our frame there, our board. And uh, come right back after I screw that in. All right, guys, so we're back, uh, and just so you guys know what I did is I took one of the pieces, end cuts of the boards, measured each section. You want two screws uh, in each one. Across the top, I put, you got one, two, three, four, then you got two screws in each board at the top. And at the very bottom, you have two screws, and you can use inch and a half to two inch, depending. Now, two inch is going to be a little bit long, however, I'll be... Uh, completely, and that's why you want to stay at the edges because the target's going to be dead center. And hopefully, you're not that off to where you're hitting the very bottom. And then your plywood, just a little shy, but it's uh, it's got its purposes of what it needs. So that's where we're at there. Um, flip that up and flip this over. So here's where we are looking on our board so far. Got a little bit of a gap, but that's not bad still. Okay, and that's what we're gonna. Now we're gonna start working on the uh, frame itself. Or I should say the stand on the outsides. Okay, now we're gonna grab our two by sixes. I already drilled a couple of holes in these things here to have them ready to go. Uh, Pre-drill your holes. And I'm going to line this one up just underneath. I'm going to go right underneath the, the, the first board there, that top. And that's going to give me a little bit more room at the bottom to play with. And 
might have to level it up at the bottom once I get done. So I'll know here in a few minutes once I measure it and uh, level it out. Anyway, shoot your live screws in next. there. shape so far. Alright, our next step, uh, we're going to check it. And might have to do some modification like I said, but hopefully not. Yeah, that's not like. And that's standing straight up. And if you can see, uh, right about 24 from the bottom and right at 24 from the bottom so we're in good shape there for it being level there this board twisted in a little bit that's easy to fix and uh, now we're going to go ahead and make the frame at the bottom so it'll stand up on its own and for that i'm going to have to set it on its side just like this here we're going to work from here Alright, right on its side, awesome. Alright, next step, two by fours. These are cut in four foot lengths. I marked the center, but so being back heavy, I think I'm just gonna offset it a little bit here. So I'm gonna go even with the bottom board, bottom to bottom, and I'm just gonna tighten it up there with about three screws. fours to where they're going to angle in so I need to get my saw out real quick and do a couple of 45 degree cuts and uh, just one second and I'll come right back and show you all right so now I cut them and uh, we can go ahead and mount these up real quick
one to hold. On the other side, I'll probably tap drill here, get a drill so hole started, come one time up from the bottom uh, with probably a three, three inch or four inch screw there to make sure it catches real good. So that's one side. I'll flip it over and do the other side, and then uh, um, we'll go from there, show you guys what it looks like when I set it up. All right, so completely got both sides done. And now we're going to go ahead and set it up on its side here. And uh, so they set it up on its stands, and we'll see how see how it looks. And that's huge. I'm going to try to back it up a little bit. So you guys can see it. The ground being uneven, obviously. Uh, that help. I don't think he's on the grass. Good. So I finished the other side and um, show you where we're at with it and this is uh, the finished product with both sides so um, pretty good I'll probably center off the top a little bit and what I mean by that is I've got it to where I could actually just keep replacing boards in there versus um, rebuilding a whole new one when that one's wore out so uh, maybe down the road I'll do another video, probably going to put hooks across that top board, then have it figured out to where I can just uh, put five new planks in there and hang them off of uh, two brackets across the back. So I think that's going to be the easiest way. So this is, this is the completed project. This is part one, and um, I'll do the bullseye here on part two. And uh, again, hit thumbs up if you like it. hope it was pretty easy and simplified for you. And you can go a lot longer on the sides if you want to carry the sides all the way up to that single board across the top. But uh, again, uh, this is just preference. And, and if you want to get uh, all the legalities, then you can go do true measurements on a, on a uh, professional board, which I'm sure there's some out there that specs, etc. But this is just for uh, around the house playing around. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll talk to you all soon. Hey guys, here we are. We're going to um, go ahead and put the bullseye on the board. A couple of things to keep in mind. If you're going for specs, you can find some specs online. I'll get close as I can uh, from what I've found and researched, and um, we'll go from there. But uh, from the bottom to the top, from, from ground level to the middle of the bullseye, is supposed to be about 63 inches. Um, and I'm going to fall short of that because I didn't put the sideboards as tall. No big deal. I can put it on a mound if I want to out in, in the yard and uh, build that up to where the center is still 63 but i'm going to get close to specs in the center area here as possible and i'm going to show you a couple of quick easy ways to do it um, that's going to make it convenient the bullseye needs to be about seven inches in diameter and that's your bullseye uh, three point circle is 17 inches in diameter and that's going to go a little bit higher obviously and then one point uh, dimension is 27 inches in diameter so and then also you have clutches that are 39 inches from um, the bottom, I believe is what they're running. Uh, 39, yeah, I think it's 39 inches from the bottom of the board uh, to your top, and we'll talk about that in a minute too. If you want to put clutches in there, uh, but you can design a board however you want for a bullseye. But I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to do it. A couple of things to talk about. One, you can go online and find a tool that measures uh, this for you, and it's quick and easy. It's about eighty dollars, anywhere from eighty to a hundred dollars uh, for that measuring tool where you. Where you just put it in the center and go. I'm going to show you a tool that's going to make it very easy and cheap for you and uh, I'm going to create it real quick in front of you so it's easy for you and you can figure it out and it won't take but probably five minutes total uh, to do your bullseye. Once you get your center mark, which I already did, uh, we're going to put our center mark right about here and uh, that's that's in between my area which I feel comfortable with and uh, once, once we do that um, we're going to create this tool and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it.
All right, guys. Here we go. Let's go ahead and create the bullseye. A uh, small hammer. Give you all the things you need. A drill. A small drill bit. We've got a pencil just in case uh, the marker doesn't work, but a sharpie. Industrial strength. One quarter inch bit. And uh, a knife for cutting this down a little bit. Yardstick. 99 cent at Lowe's. Um, versus the hundred dollar tool that you see online to create your your target and your bullseye so um, very cheap save you a lot of money and I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, create this here uh, I pre-cut this just a little bit but I'm going to cut this down to 20 so take your knife and go ahead and score it three or four times at least on both sides if you have to and then um, pop it out and you can discard one side um, that you don't need. All right. So uh, on this side here, I'm running about one to sixteen. So I cut it on the back side twenty. So this is where we're at with this. So take your first first drill uh, hole that you're going to do is right on the one inch mark. So you're right on your one inch mark. Put your quarter inch bit in, and you're going to drill one at four and a half, four and a half mark. Then you're going to go at the nine and a half mark. And then the 14 and a half mark. Okay. So now, easy part. Small nail. Okay. Put it through that first little hole that you had. And then we're going to put it in my mark. Take your Sharpie and you're going to take it into your first spot. Okay, it's your bullseye. Now go to your nine and a half mark, and you can do the same thing. Okay, and then you're going to go to your 14 and a half mark. The same thing applies. And this is just giving you your, your mark so you can come back with a either paint or a heavy duty permanent marker on the lines, which that's the case I'm going to do on mine, come back with a heavy duty. But there's your bullseye, there's your marks. And that should be pretty close to specs. Okay, should be real close to your specs. Um, you're in seven inches on the bullseye, 16, that's about 17 there. And of course, your total uh, mark that we're looking for on the outside is 27 inches, where that's where I should be. I'm going to leave marks for the clutches that if I want to put them up, which I probably will do that shortly. But anyway, that's the easy, quick, easy way to do it. And I'm going to finish outlining it and have it painted. And on the next clip, uh, you should see that completely done here. And then possibly, if I don't already paint them, we'll go ahead and talk about the clutches. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit thumbs up if you like it. And again, uh, thanks for watching.
Hey guys, so your clutches is what we're going to work on next. Same concept, took the other part of the, the uh, yardstick, one inch, and then I went just a little under three inches here. Um, I'm going to create as close as I can get to that four and one quarter inch uh, for the clutches. Uh, they talk about putting them up top left. I'm going to go ahead and put them in all four corners uh, just because I'm going to play around with it a little bit differently with my kids and and uh, the couple of places we went we did scoring differently. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's totally up to you how you do your design. But I'm just going to show you real quick, same concept. Uh, one inch with the nail and then we're going to go just shy under that three. So again, I already have my marks and then I'll do it in all four but I just wanted to show you guys uh, real quick for your clutches that's what you're looking at and then do all four of them and um, make sure your measurements are the same across which I already did prior uh, to making sure that I did this and I have just enough there. I'm going to grab my heavy duty marker real quick. And my heavy duty Sharpie and I'm just going to same concept as I did on the others. And I'll be painting these anyway inside and then coming back again. Uh, I'll be coming back inside with some color here just a little bit and I'm just going to keep it simple, keep this black and make this red and then the clutches I'm going to paint blue so uh, be right back with that Hey guys, here we are, boards complete and ready to go. Talk about axes. Uh, these I got as Lowe's as well. Uh, East Wing, pretty solid axes. Um, they've got the rubber coating down here on the metal um, handle. So it's steel all the way down. Uh, there's no way that thing would break off. Now you can get some at Harbor Freight. You can find some cheaper ones that are made out of fiberglass. Um, I'll put a link in where you can just click on these. Everything I've got was Lowe's, a few, probably less than a mile and a half down the road. So uh, these are what we're going to be throwing at the board. And the distance is totally up to you. I'll leave it to you guys how you decide. This one here is one of my favorite ones as well from Lowe's. I've not thrown it yet, but man, the weight on it, uh, the balance on it is pretty, pretty awesome as well. And it's also uh, uh, East Wing as well, so uh, S Wing, I should say, pronouncing it uh, correctly. but. Uh, solid, solid steel all the way down, and then the handle itself is still underneath, but uh, it actually has a, a really rather cool design. Again, uh, solid steel all the way down is what you really want to look for. Uh, and there's so many different ones out there. You can buy hatchets, uh, homemade hatchets with wood handles, etc. So totally up to you how you want to do it. Anyway, I'll set it up and uh, we'll throw a few. Your throwing distance. There's 12, 15 feet neighborhood. Um, so from the board to your throwing zone, 12 to 15 feet. I'm sitting at probably around 13 and a half, 14 where that bucket set. And uh, just nice easy step, nice follow through, and you'll nail it every time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Easy build. If you got any questions, shoot me a question through YouTube, and I'll be quick to respond. You guys have a great one.